Alright guys, welcome to This Week in Wrestling, covering everything that's gone on over the course of this past week, a week which surprisingly seen WWE bring up Roman Reigns' suspension on live TV. Rather than shy away from it, WWE faced it head on by having Seth Rollins kick off Raw addressing the stupidity of Reigns, calling his mistake embarrassing and saying it makes Rollins look bad because he was the guy that put the shield together. Now, while Ron's comments were simply storyline to further the build to the triple threat match at Battleground, it appears as though there were a few people in the locker room actually annoyed at Reigns for his actions, as Reigns was said to have been publicly ordered to apologise to everyone, but according to certain talents on the roster, the apology never actually took place. Instead, Reigns was reported to have packed his bags and left immediately following Raw last week, with talent confirming nobody knew about the suspension during the show, they were actually told the following day at Tuesday's Smackdown taping. Switching focus from the guy to the beast, and this week seen Brock Lesnar revealed as the cover star for WWE 2K17. The reveal came with a brand new Suplex City trailer, which I'll leave a link to in the video description, as well as a second breakdown video that points out some of the secrets hidden within it, which appear to reveal at least 10 more superstars for the game. Also announced alongside the cover reveal was the release date for the game, which actually comes a few weeks earlier this year on October 11. Prior to the Lesnar trailer, the last trailer I've seen for the game revealed former WCW star Bill Goldberg as this year's pre-order bonus, and he's been back in the news this week after speaking to 411 Mania, where he was asked if WWE have been in touch about a possible return to the ring following his deal to appear in 2K17. Unfortunately though, for Goldberg fans, Goldberg revealed, WWE has not called me to be part of any roster, my relationship with WWE stands with the video game and the video game only. If they want to extend an olive branch and pick up the phone, then I will make a comment on that once they do, but prior to that, nothing's been done. So there you go, nothing is currently in place as there's been no contact from WWE, but it sounds as though Goldberg may be open to a return should they extend that olive branch. Speaking of returns, in WWE have scheduled Randy Orton for upcoming WWE live events, where he's scheduled to take on Sheamus at the August 13th show in Texas. Originally, Orton was expected back in mid-June, however his shoulder is still not 100% following surgery and he's said to be around 6 weeks away from a return, which would lead into the August 13th date. Aside from his shoulder, Orton is also said to be suffering from a neck issue, however doctors have stated that it will not require surgery as first thought. Meanwhile, someone who doesn't look to be returned to WWE anytime soon is Sam Punk. He's been speaking to ESPN Radio this week where he was asked the question, would he ever return to professional wrestling again? Punk answered, no, I don't think so, but it's one of those never say never things. i just like to cover all of my bases just so some internet dweeb isn't going to be like, you said you'd never wrestle again with WWE? No, absolutely not, but you never know, I could pop up here and there. Let me explain this to you even better. It's not going to be televised. It's going to be me in a ninja outfit wrestling one of my buddies and nobody's ever going to know. It's going to be very Monty Python, so to speak. So there you have it. While Punk may not be returned to WWE, there is a chance if you see someone using the GTS on the indie scene and they're wearing a mask, it could well be CM Punk. Getting back to the current roster, and Dean Ambrose was this week referred to as the WWE Champion on Raw, as opposed to the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, with both Battleground promos and the WWE website also listing him as WWE Champion. Now, while he technically is WWE Champion, the slight change in wording has led to a whole load of speculation that the change has been made ahead of this month's draft, with WWE planning to bring back the World Heavyweight Championship as a second world title. So in this week's question of the week, we're asking what your thoughts are on WWE potentially bringing in a second world title. Do you think they need it, or should they stick with one champion across both shows? You can see Twitter responses to this week's question across the bottom of the screen, but let me know what you think about it in the comments. So that brings us to the end of this week in wrestling. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd love it if you could drop it a like. Let me know your thoughts on all of this week's stories in the comments. Have an awesome weekend, and don't forget, FAM Survival takes place tonight live on Twitch. There's myself and the rest of Team YouTube featuring Delzinski, The 101, It's My Yard, Goran Perkins, and Tom Kushney take on Team FAM. Until next time, I'll leave you with the promo for the match. Enjoy, and I'll catch you later. At Survival, it will be Team Fam versus Team YouTubers. Accept the challenge, dear GM. Set up your little team, and at Survival, we will show you why without us, Fam is nothing. Nothing indeed! What are you boys crying about? The YouTubers are the ones pulling in all those numbers. The YouTubers are the ones putting those butts in the seats out there. This takeover has just begun. The YouTubers are here to stay, whether you like it or not. Don't sugarcoat it, Tom. These fanboys need to understand that without us, fam wouldn't be where it is today. 
Without us, no one would tune into their shows because let's face facts here, people want to see us, not them. You know, we are the very best when it comes to WWE gaming. People come to YouTube just to see us, not some jobber like you, or you, or you, or you, or any of you lot for that matter. The numbers don't lie. The second we stepped into FEM, the numbers went through the roof. Why was that? It's because of us. It's time we get what we deserve. We could stand up here all day talking about what we could do to you and the FEM, but why not just show you instead? It's time that us YouTubers band together to take what we have earned. Representing the YouTubers, it will be Smack Talks, It's My Yard, Delzinski, The 101, Goran Perkins, and their leader, Tom Kushney. And stepping up for FAM, it will be William Kingdom, Muffy E, Lance Frisco, Luke Monet, Rafazo, Sledder, and their leader, Anarchimus. FAM, I hope you're ready, because it's going to be 7-on-7 seven seven, Tug-of-War. Who will walk out of survival victorious?